Hello and welcome to this SQL Server video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the case keyword to perform conditional logic query from a table within a database. So let's get started. In Microsoft Excel, we've got the if logical function that checks or evaluates whether a condition is satisfied and return a value if true and another value if false. Now the case keyword works the same way the if logical function works. The case keyword is available not only in SQL Server but across the other relational database management systems such as the MySQL, Oracle SQL, Grace SQL, Teradata, IBM DB2 and of course it's also available in cloud database service like Azure Database. Let's say the database want to work with in this example and different use cases. So we actually want to connect to the subqueries and of course it's going to be our table. So I'm going to write a simple select star from and then call the name of the table transactions. Click on execute. Now this is going to be the entire columns within the transactions table. And of course we're going to be working with 679 rows. That's lovely. I'm going to get rid of this asterisk sign that returns all the columns and I'm going to press the tab key because it's a good practice to indent your query in order to make it easy to understand. I want to call all the columns excluding the customer ID. So let's start with the first one. Customer name, it's in the comma. The second one is previous balance, it's in the comma. The third one is going to be credit facility and let's call the sales amount and let's call the number of store now let's go ahead and execute this query and see all the five columns beautiful we're going to start off with the first example of the case keyword so i'm going to put in a comma and click enter so i'm just going to type in case click enter and then we can indent this to make it more nice i'm going to type it in now let's see this scenario of course we can see in this number of stock column some customer do have three four five one now i want to see for the customers that operate three or more store, we're going to return yes. For those operating less than the three threshold, we we'll say the number of store, call the name of the column store. I want to check are you greater than or equal to three? If that is true, we want to return yes and close that up. Click enter. Else, we want to return no. Okay, so we're going to type the no inside single quote, close the no, and of course, we need to end this first case so we can end and, of course, we can specify the name of the column. So let's say three or, or more stores, close that up, and of course, you can see this is looking nice. We can go ahead and click on execute, and certainly, so this customer operate four stores so it's returned yes the second customers two stores return no now i'm going to put in the comma let's see another use case of the case keyword so i'm going to type in case first tap it to invent when now let's say we actually want to give the customers that operate three or more stores some bonus and the bonus will be multiplied based on the sales amounts. So we're going to say when, but then we can call the name of the, the field again, the number of store. So number of store. Again, we want to check just like what we did. Are you greater than or equal to three? If true, then we want to take the sales amount because the bonus, the 10% bonus, will be multiplied by the sales amount. So sales amount column and then multiply by 0 0.10 which is the same as 10%. Otherwise, at its health, we're going to return 0. Then let's end this statement. 
the case so end and let's give a name i'm gonna call this one bonus and then we can go ahead and click on execute that's lovely so the first customer and some other customers operating three or more stores received the 10 percent bonus which is calculated based on the sales amount i'm going to put in the comment let's see the third you know, use case i'm going to type in case again and then press the tab key wait now let's say we want to be more fair to the customers operating for five or six stores okay so we don't want to give even bonus so in this case we actually want to give for each of the customers so if you operate a single store we're going to give you five percent if you operate two stores we're going to give you eight percent for these stores we're going to give you ten percent and then when you operate four or more stores, we're going to give you a an awesome fifteen percent so in this case we're going to just type in the case just like we've done and then we can call the name of the field again so i'm going to copy this Ctrl C the number of store i'm going to paste it so i'm going to check are you equal to one if this is true then i'm going to take the sales amount column sales amount that's lovely and then we can multiply with the 0 0.05 which is the five percent again let's do for the customers operating two or most of but in order to make it more faster i'm going to just copy this and i'm going to paste it three times so i'm going to come here and ctrl v click enter ctrl v okay and then we can go ahead and modify this so two stores i'm going to give you eight percent three stores we're going to give you ten percent and of course we're going to now modify the operators by using the greater than or equal to four okay and then we're going to give them the answer 15 percent that's lovely and then we can end the case and then we can assign them so let's just call this one you know fear bonus okay close that up and then oh, oh so this is us okay so go ahead and click on execute that's lovely for the final example of this case keyword we're going to consider a situation whereby as a company we are trying to discourage our customers from owing us because it is really not good for business hence we have this measure in place for every customer whose previous balance is greater than zero and who do not have a credit facility with us will be penalized by 10 percent which is going to be multiplied by the value they are owing us now the credit facility is a window of opportunity that allows the customers to hold our payment for a certain period of time and then release based on the time so for every customer that do have credit facility agreement with us although they may be owing us they're going to be covered by the umbrella of credit facility now how do we put this into action using case keywords so i'm going to come to the owners put in comma click enter black space i'm going to type in case click enter tab key and then we're going to use the when now we're going to call the previous balance column previous balance and then we're going to check are you greater than zero and we're going to use the and now this is a classic example of using the if with the and logical functions in excel okay so we're going to call the second field for the column which is going to be in this case the credit facility we're going to check using the less than and equal to so this simply means does not equal to inside single quote yes close the single quote then if these two logical operations or expression are true what do you want to return so we're going to take whatever the paid person is owing previous balance we're going to multiply by 0 0.10 which is 10 percent else in other words if these two of these conditions are not true then we give the zero zero simply means you're, gonna, you're not going to pay any penalty okay so 
for any customer to pay any penalty at all. Both of these conditions must be true. So let's go ahead and end this case. So let's give it a name and I'm going to call it penalty. And that's it. So let's go ahead and execute this query. And that works lovely. Now let's make sense quickly. Now the first customer, John Young, for some reasons overpaid. So we are actually owing her. Of course, she's not going to be paying any penalty. Let's see this customer, Eugene Huang. Of course, she's owing us $56. And of course, she's going to be paying 10% of that $56. Now let's take this number four customer as an example, Chris Zhu. She's actually owing $548. But because we've got credit facility with her, which simply means the credit facility equal to yes, that exempts her from paying the penalty. Because in this case, it is only the previous balance that is true, which is greater than zero. But the credit facility is equal to yes so it must not be equal to yes for r to be penalized so this is basically how we can use the case keyword in real business scenarios to perform different kind of conditional logic in the sql server and other rddms so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share with your friend, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye for now.